Hey up everybody, welcome back to the Audu Cycling YouTube channel where today I am going to be telling you about who to put onto your E3 Saxo Bank Vela Games teams. Of course, no Matthew van der Poel here, but Wouten Art is on the star list and he is likely the most dangerous rider and I expect a lot of people to be picking him. The only problem is he really restricts your team, you can only really have three major riders if you pick him as kind of one of the people on your team. So I'm going to show you some perhaps a team that you could choose with Wouten Art or a team that you could choose without Wouten Art and then we can kind of decide which one we think is best and I'll also tell you some like six pointers and four pointers which are going to be good so of course we've got Wout as a as like the main rider 32 points he is probably the favorite to win this race especially since he could attack long or bring it down to a sprint you've got Casper at 26 the winner from last year he's looking in really good form so certainly another another good pick and also Mads is looking in great form as well 24 points perhaps might not be one to get in the moves but might be one who favours a sprint but I rank can certainly like a top 10 or maybe even a top 5 from Mads is, is almost a certainty. I wouldn't pick Sagan, I'd much favour his teammate uh, Tergis who's at 18 points. We got Struven, Greg at 24, again not my most favourite picks, I'd probably say that Struven's a good one alongside Mads and then I'd avoid Sagan and Greg. 22 points, I really like Seneschal, probably just avoid Moscon, he's not looking good. But yeah, Seneschal is like the other strong De Koenig rider alongside Asgreen. 20 pointers, really I think Laporte's likely the best one, just because he could get up the road. Wout can mark removes behind, or Christophe Laporte will be sat behind, and then mark him removes for Wout. Either case, Laporte will finish like fairly high up, because he's got a fairly fast sprint on him, so... I reckon he's a good one. Mohoric is another good one, but he doesn't go too great over co some like cobbled races, so just be wary about that. And then Narsen as well could be a, a nice outside pick. I probably won't pick Stibar, he's not looking brilliant. Tergis is an outstanding 18 pointer, especially how he looked at, at Milano San Remo. But just because of that late attack, I do think that he's got some cracking legs at the moment, and we saw how well he was last year. He was so consistent inside the top 10 in so many races. You could also pick Valgren or Van Baal as other 18 pointers. I think that they're definitely good picks as well, but I do think that Tergis is likely the best one. 16 pointers, maybe Stefan Kung. You know, he looked really good at the early start of the season, so whether he can continue that. Madwa, I do like Madwa, and he could certainly pull off a surprise in this race, but I don't think it's too likely. I reckon Kung is your best 16 pointer going. Maybe Pollitt as well, but he hasn't looked too good either this year. 14 pointers, Cern Clau is still your best one. Like we saw in Milano, San Lemo, he is in on flying form at the moment. So Cern Clau is probably the best 14 pointer out there. Maybe Tom Von Asbluck as well, if you're looking for a bit more of a differentiating rider. But I reckon Cern Clau, best 14 pointer. 12 pointers, Dries de Bont is looking in really good form at the moment. So, and without Matthew van der Poel. De Bont will have a bit more leadership freedom so I reckon to expect to, he could finish top 15 maybe I think that could be a, a realistic goal Rasmus Tiller would be another good 12 pointer as well and Stander Wolf for AG to our Citroen of course we saw him doing well at Parry Tours last year and also in the Primus Classic I think it might have been uh, 10 pointers I really like Victor Campanarts he is going to be the leader for Lotus Udal they need UCI points. I do think that Campanarts could finish top 10 in this race. And he looks like his cobbled riding is so much better this year than it was last year. You could pick Quinn Simmons as well as kind of one of the riders that might be kind of attacking up the road for Trek Segafredo. So Mads can sit in. Fred Wright. I don't know why, but I've got a weird feeling about about Fred Wright in this race. 20 for Omloop. And without Cobrelli here, I, I mean, Mahoric might, you know, not have a great day. Fred Wright would be a fantastic second option for Bahrain, so, you know, just keep your eyes out there. Kevin Genietz for Group Palmer as an eight-pointer. Gamay would be another good one, and Navales might be another good one as well. Looking really good at some, like, one-day races like Stuardi, so he would be one that I'd be recommending there. Six-pointers, um, there are a few that I do like the look of. Alexis Goujard to get him a break. He's pretty much just gets him a breakaway all the time. I think my strongest recommended one would be Ugo Hul. If you remember how he looked at Paris Nice, he finished 13th on GC. Set by Mark comes back into the team, but we don't know how he's going. So therefore, Ugo Hul could very easily finish maybe inside the top 20 in this race if he's given the freedom to do so. Johan Jakobs is sometimes like, I think he finished 23rd in this race last year, so he could be another good one to pick. You may be looking at some of the UAE riders just because they're without Trenton, so they might get him a break. So you've got Rui Oliveira, Mikel Bjerg, 
riders like that they could be some good choices as well just because they are without that kind of figurehead leader so they might stand a better chance of getting him a break or being allowed to maybe try and sneak a top 20. Marijn van den Berg you've heard me talking about this guy before he's great but how is he going to go over this? Will he be working for Valgren? Probably. So maybe Vandenberg might not be the best option this time round. Four pointers. I'm afraid to say you're really just going for a bit of breakaway bingo here. You could literally pick any of these riders and hope they get into the break. For me, I think focus on world tour teams that don't have a big leader. So that would be Bike Exchange and UAE. So you've got Felix Gross here, but you've also got like Konichev for bike exchange, I reckon those are likely the best ones because they are world tour riders so they're really strong but they don't have a leader so they'll be more than likely getting him a break so that would be my strongest recommendation for you. In terms of a team with Wout Van Aert would look like this, so you could have Wout Van Aert, two quick step riders, Campen Arts, a six pointer, that would be uh, Ugo Hul or something like that and then yeah so you could do something like that or you could perhaps not go with Seneschal, you could pick Laporte, use those two points on Campen Arts, put on Glees de Bont. If you didn't want to go with Wouten Art, you can choose this really cool team that I've made, which is is that you can pick this team, which is Laporte, Seneschal, Ausgreen, Turgis, Campen Arts and Healy. Healy is just one to try and get him a break, but you've got five riders here who could easily finish inside the top ten, and I think this is likely going to be the team that I go with, just because I like having the multiple riders. I didn't like having Wout and the team being so restricted, but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Are you gonna go with Wout? Are you gonna not pick Wout? Put it all down in the comments down below. And yeah, all that's left to say, keep safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Salut.